Want to grow your business and take it to the next level? Well, here we all are. And we are going to show you how through hard work, perseverance, and a little help and know-how, you can take things to the next level and push the success of your business even further. Let's get going. Hello everyone, Paul Wright here and welcome to the next episode of the Practiceology Podcast, where we teach you the science of running an allied health business successfully and profitably without you being there all the time. And, I, and I've, I've hit up Ed Petty, and I've picked up Ed from, from beautiful Chicago, where I spent my, my one of the coldest days of my life. Ed, thanks for joining us on the podcast. Yeah, glad to be here. Thank you. Now, I'll do the formal Ed story. Ed has been developing profitable businesses for over 35 years, which you wouldn't think so looking at, but it's a surprise. In working first hand with business owners across the country, including 20 he and his company co-own, Ed has been able to map faster pathways to a more prosperous and low stress business, which we're all about. He's identified universal patterns in business development that can pro propel any venture to its goals faster. He's distilled his observations and into what he's called the goal-driven system. And as a result, he's written the gold the goal-driven business, which is a, a book you should get your hands on. Ed, are you right? Do you think you're up to the seven-minute format, mate? Can you keep this into seven minutes? Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to start my timer and we'll see how we go. Okay, your timer. Okay. You're away. Ed, who is your ideal client? Okay, ideal client would be uh, a business owner or a professional who wants to have a business or has a business, who has goals and is driven to achieve them. And uh, those goals would be better service, more service, uh, more profit, obviously, and also uh, more active in pursuing their greater purposes, whatever they are, surfing or building a new church. And you've got a special, a sort of a special interest in, in allied health or chiropractic. Is that kind of where you... Uh, where you're uh, my, uh, my upbringing has basically been in uh, chiro work, working with chiropractors in America here. Yep. Right. yep. So, so what's, the, what's the problem you solve for them? What's, what's their big problem? Well, growth, growth, usually growth happens uh, uh, over the first few years, but then there's, uh, most business owners run into barriers. And those barriers are organizational. And uh, they, they fight to get through to the next level, to the next level. And uh, what we help them do is discover the barriers to get to that next level. Okay. And the level beyond that. <laughs> the question three with about five and a half minutes left. So what's, what's the typical symptoms, Ed, you find when, when owners have these barriers? What, what, what... Okay. First of all, burnout. Burnout. Um, and they start... Uh, doing different things, uh, start finding other, uh, other activities, uh, uh, other purposes that, you know, because it's not working this, or they settle, they just settle and well, I'm paying my bills anyway. So I'm, I'm getting through that. Um, chasing symptoms is a big one. Um, uh, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> All right. So question for that. So, so if they've identified, they've got barriers, maybe they haven't even identified it. They, they just, they're, they're stuck and they probably they're, haven't identified it. They just they're beaten down by them and, and, and they're sort of subconsciously beaten down, worn down. I, I love the expression, Ed, when you said they, they, they've settled. Settled. They've yeah. Settled for whatever they've got. So so what are the common mistakes, Ed, that people make when they try and solve mm -hmm. their, their lack of their barriers or their settling? They <clears throat> probably like what they tell uh, many times you tell your patients and tell their patients. You know, there's the uh, you're just pain is the is the last thing to show up, and pain is the first thing to go. And so we we don't we won't, don't just want to handle the symptoms; we want to handle the causes of it. Unfortunately, most business owners they do that; they chase symptoms, they chase symptoms, they chase the shiny things, they go up to the shiny things, and um, that's that's not what they should be doing. They should be focusing on principles, on their goals, on basics. And, and, and practicing their uh, improving themselves and their team. So question five then, Ed, so what's, what's a valuable free action? What, what can our listeners and, and viewers do? Okay, this is, this is obvious, but it's, uh, it, it's probably not appreciated, but we all work in our business, but we need to work on our business. And that's easy to say, Mike, uh, to say, Michael Gerber talked about it 40, 50 years ago, but that's the key. You work on your, 
you, you need to work on yourself. You need to work on your uh, team. You need to work. Uh, you need to get out of the business to work on it. And we, we call it a goals lab, but it could be your, your practice field, your rehearsal center. Um, and, and, and I don't know if this is quite appropriate, but you need time. You do have time to do this. You, you, there's many reasons why you can't do it and won't do it. But I'll just tell you right now, the fact is you do have time to work on yourself, to work on your business, to get out and work on it. That's, that's number one. Because I suppose that you hear it all the time. They say they haven't got time to work on their business. They're too busy treating patients. Is that true? Is it they're true? too busy handling everything else. They're handling everything else. It's not the patients that's slowing them down. It's everything else. So what I'm hearing then, Ed, do, do an audit of your, of your week or your time and, and work out where are you getting caught up. Free yourself from some of those things so you can work on the business. That you get the first thing is get out and you, you could look at the business, you look at your numbers, your key performance indicators, you look at your team, you also look at yourself. You know, am, am I what's my what's my why? Why am I why am I doing this? Have I forgotten? So you really have to work on yourself and then work on your skills. I mean, you know, quality counts. So it's it's not just the business business, it's working on your on your on uh you know, secondarily, let me just say this really quickly. Secondarily is, is getting team, getting your team to handle things. That's not part of these seven things, but it's that's key. So question six then with about two minutes left. Ed, what's, a, what's, a, what's a resource? What what can we give our listeners and viewers to help them along? What what resources have you got for them? Where do they get them? Well, I, I was going to say, first of all, we have you have your program. <laughs> so you have your program, your book. Uh Books, study, study, study. I, what I have is, I have a great book called The Gold Driven Business. And uh, it's based upon 35 years of work in the field. Um, if you go to the website called golddriven.com, uh, there's uh, a button you can push and you'll get, uh, you can opt in and you'll get over 10 practice building tools that are tried and true and proven that will help you build your business. Golddriven.com. And they've got so that's where they get the tools. And what was the book title again, Ed? Can you give us the goal driven business? The goal, the goal driven business. All right, check it out, guys. Ed, Ed's, Ed's got a great thing the, working your business around your goals, not the other way around. So, question so Ed, with about a minute to go, what's, okay. what, what's the one question I should have asked you that would give great value to our audience? What, what should I have asked you in today's session? Well, you know, I thought about that, and all I could think of was. How can, how can I achieve my goals? And the obvious answer, and all this is so obvious, is to focus on goals, focus on values. What are your values? What are your goals? Um, Aristotle talked about telos, and he said that everything like a cup has its own goal. Uh, a, a pen has its own goal. Your practice has its own goal. Your skills ha has its own goal. So you focus on those. Those are the basics. and um, you, you can't help but succeed. There, how's that? Seven, six and a half minutes? Uh, that was very good. Hey, so what, what's the URL again? Where do they go to get the tools, the 10 tools? Goaldriven.com, goal driven. Goal, goal, goal. Like, you know, you make a goal and driven. You're driven to make it. Goaldriven.com. Ed Petty, thanks for joining us on the Practiceology Podcast. Mate, seven minutes, you nailed it. Okay, well, you did too. <laughs> Thanks a lot. If you haven't checked out our monthly practiceology demonstration, head to mypracticeology.com and I'll see you in the next episode.